Let's talk about renal calculi. When we break apart the word renal, this is referring to the kidneys, and calculi is another word for a stone. So, renal calculi are kidney stones. Now, these stones can be found in the kidneys. This is called nephrolithiasis. They also can be found in the ureters. This is called ureterolithiasis. It's important to know that lithiasis means formation of stones in the body. And stones can also be found in the bladder called bladder calculi. Commonly, stones are eventually passed through the urinary tract from the kidneys. They pass through the ureters into the bladder and finally exit through urine. Now, stones can range from being very small to very large. There are also different types of stones. They could be made up of calcium, uric acid, struvite, or cysteine. Calcium stones form due to excess calcium and oxalate in the urine. Uric acid stones form due to excess uric acid in the urine. Struvite stones form due to a bacteria, while cysteine stones form due to excess cysteine in the urine. Now some causes of these specific stones. Calcium stones are caused by dehydration or hypercalcemia. Uric acid stones are caused by dehydration, gout, or foods high in purines. Struvite stones are caused by a chronic urinary tract infection or UTIs. And cysteine stones are caused by a rare genetic disorder. So important to know that dehydration is the number one risk factor for developing a kidney stone. Now for signs and symptoms of renal calculi. The most common symptom is sudden, sharp, severe flank pain. Flank pain is pain felt in the back, just below the rib cage. Flank pain can indicate a kidney issue. Think about where the kidneys are located and where the pain is being felt. They may also experience nausea, vomiting, and sweating, most likely from the pain they're experiencing. And lastly, they may experience hematuria, which is blood in the urine. There is microscopic hematuria, meaning you won't be able to see it with the naked eye, only under a microscope. And then there is gross hematuria, meaning you can easily see it in the toilet. And pyuria, which is white blood cells in the urine. If you want the rest of this video, check out Nurse in the Making Plus. This includes access to our growing video library, interactive worksheets that go with each video, and practice questions. You can get access to Nurse in the Making Plus with the Complete Nursing School Bundle. Click the link to the Complete Nursing School Bundle and join thousands of other future nurses using Nurse in the Making Plus. You got this, future nurse.